I describe alcohol as the last taboo in Ireland. Officially, I'm a specialist in a condition that doesn't exist. Although I've been seeing patients from all over the island for 10 years, and the patients are, a lot of them, uh, half of them are in foster care, and, and the other uh, patients I see are adopted children, adopted in Ireland. I'm also seeing a, a fair number of adopted Russian and Romanian children. So uh, the, the challenges of accepting this is a real condition in a country that is one of the highest per capita drinking in the world, highest binge drinking in Europe, highest underage drinking in the world, and the highest drinking in pregnancy in the world still continue. But it really is an area in which you have to acknowledge the cultural issues of minimization, denial, and stigma, because stigma is a huge issue in Ireland. The shame of having a child that could have been affected by your drinking when everyone accepts this drinking is so much part of the socio-cultural environment. The other issues which are, are more uh, uh, as complicated, but I guess my 25 years working in, in, with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders as a child psychiatrist has taught me that it's really a waste of time just dealing with the person in your office. There has to be an acknowledgement this is a transgenerational condition and my work in Ireland has really clarified that you have to be working with grandparents, parents and, and you have to look at the seeds of alcohol sown through the generations. We are now in an era in which the epigenetics are showing us the traits, biological and psychological, are carried through generations. And in, in my clinical work in Ireland, I'm very much involved in looking at prevention. I, I call it three-dimensionally in the sense that you're looking, the child who I see invites me to see a mother, invites me to see a grandparent, invites me to, to attempt to have conversations through generations. And I guess it's no different than the work I did when I worked in Camden, America, working with Native American or First Nations. I'm finding the clinical experience and skills I developed at that time are serving me well in Ireland. So I think if you're looking at prevention, you have to look at it at a multi-generational level, not just the person in your office. And the critical time period would be not just the pregnant woman, but you have to look at preconception, prenatal, and then the immediate birth area. And that really would be my overview of, of, of a, a prevention sort of strategy, I guess, for any country. Thank you.